everyone, welcome back. Uh, we had a really neat day today. It was it was kind of fun. Thankfully, we got up early and had some good sleep. But you know, we like to go hunting not just for you know you know board games, toys, anything collectible, stuff that you remember, cool things. And some of the neatest places to go to are like antique places and supposedly rummage sales. Well, uh, a church near us had a uh, rummage uh, sale and we're like why not on Saturday and Sunday we went and uh, we got a lot of neat stuff for three bucks so uh, we'll take a look at it and eh, it's pretty neat some stuff we found there three bucks ain't bad for all this and we can you know show it off a bit so first off one of the first things we got was for 25 cents this bag that has, uh, you've seen a video from our super cheap game, brothers. And, uh, I don't know, 25 cents for one, two, three, four things here. One of those, ooh, okay, it's three things. This is a slap bracelet. The unicorn, some bell thing, and one of those Hasbro games I was talking about for Twister. Then we got another big bag full of more for 50 cents. Uh, there's a lot of duplicates, like there's one, two, three freaking Monopolies, but there's a Game of Life, there's Trouble, Trouble, and I think there's one more other thing in there, but, hey, you know, you got a lot of cheap games there, and couldn't pass up on cheap games, especially for the price. Speaking of cheap games, Probe. <laughs> How can you not like a game called Probe, especially... When when I think of Probe, I think of Nightmare on Elm Street 2, Freddy's Revenge, and that classic scene that, and they just happen to have Probe in there. So we finally said, hey, come on, 25 cents? Fine. So we can see what the thing looks like, the product. No. It is definitely not Hamtaro. I'm a little disappointed. <laughs> Why? Because it doesn't look like Hamtaro. Well, yeah. Next up, of course, I love Goosebumps. We'll be having a bunch of Goosebumps stuff there, but we got some Goosebumps books. One of my least favorite ones, but still, they were 25 cents. Say Cheese and Die. One of my favorite ones, Attack of the Jack-O-Lanterns. And then, for some reason, I remember this. Does anyone else remember these? Does anyone else remember these? Kid? The Adventures of the Bailey School Kids. Worlds Don't Go to Summer Camp. I feel like I've seen this when I was a kid. I don't know if I read it, but I remember seeing it a lot and maybe reading it a lot, but cool books, 25 cents a piece, can't pass up on that. And then uh, something totally awesome was uh, Totally Spies. We like Totally Spies here. You know, it's got Best Girl right on the cover there. <laughs> Which one's Best Girl? <laughs> That's for you to decide. Now, nah, they're all three really great, though, but we all know who the best one is. Right there, Davey? We'll say it at the same time. <laughs> One, two, three. Alec? Sam. What? What? Hi, <laughs> How dare you? All right, we'll try it again. One, two, three. Clover. Over. Hey. Hey. <laughs> okay, we'll try it again. One, two, three. Alex. Sam. <laughs> no, they're all great girls. I like them. They all get their neat personalities. And it was a CD-ROM game. Saving the world in style. Totally Spice is awesome. They look cute on the cover, so why not? That was like... It was under a buck, so. And then these VHSs were two for 25 cents. And it's one of those things where there was a lot of stuff at this place that was actually kind of neat. But then it was like, you wanted it just for the fact that, hey, look how cheap this is. I can get this for a quarter, a nickel. Well, um, oh, not a nickel. Uh, uh, two quarters. That's what I meant. Give me two Bs for a quarter, you'd say. Or whatever Grandpa Simpson says. But anyway... And it's like, boy, you know, there are appliances, a, t a traveling typewriter, all these neat things. I'm like, but, but why? Just because they're cheap. So it was nice. It goes for the church, I'm guessing, or the community and all that stuff there. So we were nice to do that. And there's a couple things like, I don't need Fern Gully on VHS because I want to get the DVD. I want to watch on that or whatever, but I already have I don't need another copy. I already have a couple copies of the Turtles movies on VHS, all three of them, so... But some of these were uh, something that I couldn't pass up. I hope these are right in there. But we have Honey, I Shrunk the Kids with the uh, Tummy Trouble, Roger Rabbit, mostly for the Roger Rabbit and uh, Jessica Rabbit. 
And then Walt Disney Cartoon Classic is Disney stuff. So it's the Halloween stuff, the Halloween treat. I love that. Another one for Disney, My one of my favorite tales from Disney is uh, the their version of Ichabod Crane and The Legend of Sleepy Hollow. Couldn't pass that up. And then they had a Prince and the Pauper from Disney. Two versions. And we decided to go with the, if it works, whatever, but it's in a rental case. That's the one you go for. So that's all of it. A lot of neat things. And hope you enjoy it. Enjoy it. Go find the stuff. You never know what you find at these type of places. You know, you, you might just find something at an antique place, a thrift store, rummage sale, yard sale, garage sale, whatever you want to call it. Something like this. And it's, just, it's fun. Uh, you get to see a lot of old and new. And uh, there's a lot of people that enjoy this stuff. So give it a try sometime if you haven't already. You'll never know what treasures you might find. I forgot what they called the name of it. I'll put a, it was like a new to you or something, I think is what they named this rummage sale. So it was kind of neat. It was kind of cute. Until uh, next time, everyone. Keep hunting. Stay gnarly. So again, we got, for $3, super cheap board games from Hasbro. A couple of figures. Four awesome VHSs, including one rental one. Three classic children's books, The Game of Probe, and Totally Spies, which made this whole thing totally awesome. <laughs>